Hi folks, Chris here from CC Detecting and Scrapping. When I first started scrapping, I did everything probably the most longest and complicated way possible. Uh, I, I then started uh, doing some research on YouTube as well as a lot of trial and error. And I found some things that made scrapping a little bit easier. So I'd like to pass those tips on to you. So today's tip is about breaking down screen doors. Uh, I'm not too sure if you guys recalled a few weeks ago when I picked up two screen doors on in one week, plus I had one already. So today I'm gonna break these down. Um, I could take these in as they are, um, but I wouldn't get a very good price on them with the glass and the steel. So we'll clean them up, get a better price with clean aluminum and go from there. Um, the first thing you wanna do though, when you get a screen door, see if it's even worth bothering taking apart is make sure your magnets don't stick. That uh, broken neodymium here, as you can see it sticks to the metal, but it doesn't stick to any of these. So all these are, are are aluminum handles might be brass or aluminum I'm not too sure I'll take that out and check it out but uh, you can see right here we got metal screws in that so we're gonna pop all those out we're gonna take care of the glass and we'll go from there so let me get my tools and we'll get started so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove like the weather stripping parts and then start popping the screws off I've already started taking the screws off on this side before I notice there's a weather stripping but so we'll pop the screws off there and uh, I'll get, I'll get back to you once I get all that cleaned up. There we go. So we'll just take a screwdriver, or I'll call it the flathead pry bar, and we'll just pop that water stripping right out. And there we go. Now to clean this up, is we'll get in there and we'll pop off the, um, the weather stripping part here. So let's get that cleaned up. So to clean that weather stripping up, all I did was I, I took some pliers, I grabbed on and I pulled it out to, to get it started. And then it just comes out pretty easy after that. Um, a little hard doing this one handed, but you guys see what I mean. So what you want is you want to get this aluminum as clean as possible. So taking this weather stripping off is, uh, is one way of doing that. So let me finish that up and we'll put it to the side. So there we go. It's all cleaned up now and uh, there's no screws left in it or anything. So what that is, that's now a clean extruded aluminum. So I'll throw that in my clean extruded aluminum box and uh, <clears throat> move on to get the rest of the frame apart. So on this frame here, I've removed the screws on the top and the bottom because <clears throat> I just want this one panel out. I don't want to wreck the structure for the rest of the door. And I did the same thing at the top here. So I'm just going to try and pry this top part off and I'll get right back to you. It should come off pretty simple. You can see the gap is already starting to form there. So it should come off here pretty easy. All right, so it, it, it ended up coming off fairly easy. Um, I did have to use a gentle persuader, uh, otherwise known as a hammer, just to get it going. But now we have it like this. Now you're gonna wanna be careful because now the glass is loose. So we have it out like this. We're gonna pop the rest of this glass out so that it's a little bit safer to work with. And then we can finish taking apart the rest of this frame. All right, there we go. So now the glass is out for this frame. The rest of it should come out pretty easy. As you can see, we're just pulling it apart now. There we go. So now, now the top door part is off. We'll get in there and clean all that up and uh, get all the metal out and whatnot and have some clean extruded aluminum here. Um, and for the frames, we'll pop the frames off those as well because that's also aluminum. So let me uh, finish cleaning up this door frame here and I'll get right back to you. So another spot you're going to really want to clean up is the handles part. So this handle here, I took it apart. Um, There's a couple rivets on the side here. I just took a grinder to all well, on this side, I guess you can see a little better. I took, I just took a grinder to it real quick so I could pop the rivets out and all that is steel. So it's all currently sticking to my neodymium magnet on the back part in this area. I found a tiny brass plate. So you can see that's brass. So that'll go into my brass pile. And the rest of this is all cast aluminum. So I'll throw all that into my cast aluminum bin. So that's just another way of making a little bit extra money by uh, cleaning that handle up. So one thing I wanted to mention was uh, in the render here where the windows sit, there's two aluminum of these, which is, uh, is all right. However, there's a plastic insert in between them as a gapper. So you're gonna wanna make sure you clean that up uh, so you can get as clean extruded as you can. So as you can see here, we flipped it over so we can get at the metal screws on this side. And we got a little bit of 
door hardware to take off there as well so we'll get that done and we'll just finish popping these screws out so we can get the rest of it off looks like we might have a little bit of weather stripping here on the side which we'll just take a screwdriver and clean that up or it might just be lint but anyway we'll clean all that up so we get some good clean uh, extruded here all right so now it comes to the screen frame and the window frames so uh, for the screen frame it's pretty simple you just want to pull out the rubber wiring that was holding the screen in and then <clears throat> these should just pop out pretty easy uh, I think there's a little bit of a connector in there so we'll pop those out and I'll show you what it's like for the windows for these windows anyway you want to see where the join is so as you can tell this one has the join on the inside so we're gonna pop this bar out much like I've done over here so you can see we've, we've popped it up already um, to do that I used uh, my flat-headed pry bar and my persuader uh, hammer and screwdriver and I just tapped it gently you don't want to be smashing it because you don't want to break the window but it, it comes off pretty easy and then it just pulls right out so let me get all that cleaned up and I'll uh, show you what we have when we're done just one thing I wanted to mention real quick is that these windows will have a type of weather stripping liner in them as well a little felt pad there that I think uh, those are the sides they scroll up and down the slides in you're going to want to pull those out too to get proper clean extruded prices so so this is that part of the window that's got the little latch that holds it in uh, to get that out I put it in my vise not pinching this part here because that you want you want to pry that out so take my pliers and then just give it a bit of a wiggle and there we go and so now that's out now that's another piece of cast aluminum uh, holding that in it's just a spring and a little piece off this part so quick little wrap up here those screen doors really don't take too long at all to take apart um, if I wasn't filming I could probably do one in I don't know maybe 10 minutes or so um, you, you do get quite a bit of good clean aluminum out of it so I wait some out here for you so just let's uh, show that here real quick all right so for the uh, I didn't take the tin into account uh, or the steel screws and all that there really wasn't much to worry about uh, it's pretty negligible for the uh, three cents you'd get if that maybe two cents so um, for cast aluminum which is the door handle and then a couple other little bits we got 302 grams or 10.7 ounces uh, for the sheet aluminum we got 515 grams or 1.2.2 ounces uh, the sheet aluminum was the kicker plate at the bottom of the door this one was aluminum I've seen them in the past where some of those kick plates are uh, are brass so just make sure you check that before you just throw it into your aluminum pile the good stuff though is extruded aluminum on the door we ended up with uh, just over five kilograms or 11 pounds 12.8 ounces which is pretty good that's approximate the scale that i use for that is uh it's not the most accurate but that's roughly what you get so that's a quick tutorial and a few tips on how to break down uh, an aluminum screen door uh, I, I do believe breaking them down to get the cleanest possible aluminum you can is is more beneficial for you uh, it also doesn't take very long at all. I, I think a, a complete screen door teardown would probably be maybe 10-15 minutes at the most. Um, hopefully these tips helped you out when you get your screen doors. If you, if you can sell them, if they're still good, then go ahead and sell them. You, you will get more money th that way than scrapping them. Uh, these doors are pretty trashed, though not, uh, not worth selling. So anyway, like I said, that's my tutorial here for the day. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave a comment down below. And uh, if you found this helpful, hit the like button. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.